very first mountain goat journey back in 1972. Was there less traffic in 1972, <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> Uh, yes, there was. I mean, I was around in 1972. <laughs> but, um... Only left here. This is the northern basin of Windermere, divided into two very separate halves: the northern end and the southern end of the shallow water and the islands in the middle. The deepest part of the lake's further north, it's 220 feet deep at normal water levels. And the surface of the lake is around about 140 feet above sea level, so you can work out for yourself how far below sea level the bottom is. Quite a nice view of the Langdale Pikes. In front of us there and to the left you'll see the village of Troutbeck, it's, um, as you can see it's about three houses deep and, and over a mile long and that's because it follows the line of natural springs so before the days of piped water everybody had access to very pure water coming out of the fell side the reason they didn't use the, the, the beck down in the bottom here, the Troutbeck, is uh, because there used to be fulling mills all along the the, the river, you know, water powered mills. Fulling is a pr uh, process that you finish wool with. Um, the fulling process itself didn't pollute the, uh, the, the the river particularly, but the mill workers using the river as a, a lavatory did. So hence the, the village is up the side there. <coughs> the whole place is a conservation area. Very, very interesting place. All these lumps and bumps and knobs here are um, a moraine deposits from the last glacier to retreat up the valley. Not that long ago really, something like no, 12, 13,000 years ago.
little primary school. Just uh, look on your right in a moment. There it is. Now let me finish the sentence before you get too excited. On your left here is the first church in the world to be lit by electricity. In 1891, the Greenside Mine, which is up the valley here, very early in the use of hydroelectric power, ran a cable down to the church here to light it. And um, it's amazing that it got done really because the mine owners were Quakers, the mine workers tended to be Methodists, and they ran the cable to an Anglican church dedicated to a Catholic saint. Chantrells you can't mistake for anything else. Right out to sea. If you look just where the bell drops down, you can just see the sea on the horizon. 